Hello everyone, this is Simon Chalagunla, pursuing BTEC second year CSE from Dr. MGR Education and Research Institute, Chennai. Now I am going to explain about file organization in DBMS. Before giving a clarification about file organization in DBMS, let me tell you a few keywords. The, uh, we have to know the keywords. One, what is DBMS? And we have to know what is called file. Then we have to know how that files are organized in DBMS. Okay, what is what is DBMS? What is file? And how that files are organized in DBMS? Let me start with the scratch DBMS. Generally, what is a DBMS? I don't know how many of you know the full form of DBMS. The full form of DBMS is database management system. The full form of DBMS itself it explains managing of a data is called database management system. Just managing of data itself is called database management system. Then if D, if DBMS is a if DBMS explains about managing of data, it would have a huge amount of data. I told you a few keywords called database and files and the files are organized in DBMS. These are the three concepts in uh, file organization in DBMS. We have we got the data and what we do the data for that. We have to make a form files and the files to be organized in DBMS to be formed and to be organized the files. How that files are formed? First, the data is gathered. All of all the data what we had is gathered to form into a table into related records. Okay, since DBMS is management managing of data, so data DBMS consists of huge amount of data. Then gather that the huge amount of data to form a table with the related records. The thing here it is as a user, the user sees the information is present in the form of table, but what the actual thing is, the information is uh, stored in a secondary memory. A user can see the data is stored in the form of a tables and a huge amount of data is stored in physical memory in the form of files. Let me explain with a clear example after making this note of point. After listening my explain you can get a clarity view that the DBMS consists of a huge amount of data and the data is gathered to form into a table with the related records. Uh, and you think that uh, data is uh, present in the form of just in tables but uh, you think that where will be the tables will be stored all the tables get into the form of files and that file whatever the file is stored whatever the file we got will be stored in secondary memory and without storing memory we cannot execute or we cannot run we cannot implement or we cannot do further we have to store the store the files to, the, to do any case in further the, so we can we, we must store in physical form to get any action or reaction for further so we have to store the all the tables are get into the form of a files and get stored in a physical form of memory. As a viewer, you can see it's a form of a table, but it stores in a file. Uh, it stores as a files and stores in a physical form, right? Let me explain this concept with a real-time example. Real-time example for what is DBMS and what what are the files and how that files are organized in DBMS. Mm, I, I explain for only what's concept of DBMS. Now I'm going to explain about let me sh let me explain uh, about file first then after i'll explain how dbms and how files are working files is a named collection of related information that is recorded in secondary storage what i said before of how files formed is nothing but files uh, is a named collection of related information is a named named collection of related in related information Named collection of related information in secondary storage is called file. What I explained before is I explained now. Mm, and let me explain with a real time example what are the files and what is the DBMS. First, you think yourself with whether uh, I explain, I, I think you got a, a clear idea about what is a DBMS, what is a file, and you think yourself where the, uh, where the files and the, where the DBMS used in real time, real life. You please answer after knowing about DBMS where where will be the DBMS used? DBMS used everywhere. In it is used in universities. Universities. It is used in mobile showrooms. 
it is used in everywhere in the universe even it can be used in your home making home purpose or your daily routine work and it is used in each and everywhere in your mobiles and everywhere even without knowing to yourself you will be using the dbms let me explain with a, uh, an example taking as universities as an example consider our university mgr how dbm is used in our in our university in for example in every year i am a 2018 and 2022 batch i will be having uh, at most uh, most and eight sims there will be eight sim results to me and the eight sim results must be stored in uh, dbms uh, mj dbms uh, and some of my seniors some other batches will be eight sims their, their results would be stored stored in dbms of mgr and my juniors they will be having eight sims and their result must be stored in dbms of mgr but the how that storing uh, for example i am a student um to um batch 2018 to 2022 so first sem result i'll be getting first sem result and uh, now i am in second year so i completed my third sem i completed my third sem i completed my first sem second sem and just now i completed third sem and entered into fourth sem i will be having i'll be uh, i'll be having first sem result consider the first sem result as a record 1 and second sem result as a record 2 and third sem result as record 3 and fourth sem uh, fourth sem result is as a record 4 and record 5 and up to record 8 same my seniors will be seniors mean uh, the batch 2017 to 2021 batch will be having the first sem second sem record 1 rate and the same uh, my juniors this is me seniors this is juniors we can consider all these eight records as one file f1 and all these records as file f2 and all these records as file f3 how these files are organized in dbms all these files must be stored in some of the so for college information these three files must be stored in the dbms of uh, uh, mgr it can be stored in by hard hard or it can be in a soft copy the thing the thing is we got the files here we got the records in each file and the records are related in each because uh, it's a it's a, their relation is uh, same result same result is their relation here in each and every record the relation is uh, same uh, sorry same result the thing we have to note is how these files are organized in dbms how these files are arranged in dbms that is nothing but organization of files and uh, records arranging of records arranging of files in a dbms is called file organization in dbms let me tell you how these files are organized file organization in dbms uh, it consists of uh, three sets these are the total five ways of uh, file organization in dbms and first two are one set second uh, third one is second set and uh, last two are one more set these are the three different sets in file organization let me explain the first one sequential file organization sequential file organization uh, you guys uh, tell me what is the mean uh, what what is the meaning of sequential and uh, the sequential what defense one after one the meaning of sequential word is one after one we already got the some records of a file f1 uh, batch 2018 to 2022 batch had a file batch had a file f1 and had a records r1 r2 and up to r8 how these records are stored as 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 we completed first sim record first sim result we got the record r1 and what here happy, happen is we successfully completed first sim and second sim and we got the result and the records stored but in case of sim 3 we completed r3 and we got the result and the uh, is stored in case of r4 um uh, due to corona virus for example i'm telling <laughs> and due to corona virus the exams are postponed and the the sim is kept aside and the 
sem fifth, fifth sem is started and what they told is uh, fourth sem will be uh, teaching later or will be uh, connecting uh, exams after your eighth sem and then we'll get fifth sem result and we'll get r6 and r7 r8 and then r4 so how these records will be entered into the uh, uh, data block some data block have data buckets which is stores the records as we complete the as we complete the res uh, sims we will get result and the result will be stored r2 r3 r5 r6 r7 r8 and then r4 in this type the data the uh, records will be stored in the data buckets of a data block this is data block data block uh, can have any number of buckets uh, depending upon the memory uh, so this this is the order the same result we completed and the records what we got in this order we got the uh, records so in name of sequential file organization how these records enter into the enter into the data block in sequential file organization so on so called one after one will be having two models of entering of records we have two methods in sequential file organization one is pile file method and sorter file method these are the these are the result we completed and these should be entered into the data block the uh, sim4 is postponed and the sim5 result r5 should be added added as a new record r5 after completing up to r8 we have to add the new record r4 it takes r4 you, you should not see in a sequential order this may be ordered r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 r7 r8 uh, but should be the last enter file should be entered into the last data bucket that is the rule of the pile file method um, a pile of coins thing and the meaning of a pile is uh, considered a pile of coins if this is a pile of coins uh, the entrance of a new coin will be the top of the top of the pile you cannot replace in in middle because the whole pile will be collapsed in same case the newly entering uh, record must be at the uh, top of the data bucket sorry top of the data block this is called pile file method and pile file method consists of insertion deletion and updation we can uh, we can update uh, sorry we, we can in, in insert the records in this manner we can the delete the delete the uh, records in the same manner and we can update mean update means um, in andhra pradesh uh, a new rule came in, uh, came into act that uh, from next year the btec will be 5 years i don't know whether it will be having 10 sims or not I mean will be having any internship uh, by having 5 years it will be having some other academic record to be ha added to the database I mean it will be uh, update updating the updating the dbms with the new records uh, will be having updation like that we'll, we can update it as the same the, but the thing is uh, newly entered record would be the top of the data block that is called file pile file method but uh, what is the disadvantages of pile, pile file method is accessing accessing of a record the time complexity this is disadvantage advantage the time comp the, the comp time complexity of accessing a particular record is high because it, it, it is not in a sorted order it is in some other locations so it takes some time in case of insertion or updation or uh, updation or deletion or working in it uh, working for the particular dbms the time complexity is low because we we can update uh, sorry we can insert the wherever wherever the uh, new address is found in free will be inserting the record there that's the uh, time complexity is low here being an university these are the same result it will be stored in the relation of same result in case of some merchant shops or any showrooms will be the relation would be like a prices uh, if you have a mobile showroom uh, it would be having a, a file of samsung 
if it was a mobile showroom and the um, we have the uh, file of samsung brand will be having features models uh, if the uh, record r1 be the model uh, there uh, there will be several models and each model have particular features particular prices and particular offers and we can consider each model as a record each model as a particular each record and we can uh, we can consider each each model as a record and we can place the record with the relation of their prices or their uh, um, their recruitment from the customers and we can store in any of the relation generally in mobile shops they stores with, uh, they stores the files with the customer recruitmentation so uh, customer recruitment second case of sequential sorting is um, sorted file method sorted file method in case of sorted file method in case of sorted file method uh, we have same r1 r2 and up to r8 and there will be a new record entering r4 we have r8 records and we, and we have to enter a record r4 after entering entering to the r4 the dbms itself uh, sorts the all records in a sequential order the r4 is sorted here in a sorted order r4 in case of mobile showrooms uh, if r4 is a r4 r4 is a new brand in in the in the relation of um, uh, recruitment of the customer it is in the fourth place it will be sorted will be here in case of pile file method r4 is the new model arriving here the pile file method don't think of the customer recruitment or prices and nothing anything and it will be stored uh, the new the new model will be stored at the top of the data block and here whatever the new model will be but, but the storing of the record must be in the customer recruitment in the same way in the order of the uh, students completed the same result stored here but in case of here how the university completed the uh, sims will be stored like this next file organization in set one is heap file organization to let you know the meaning of an heap um, consider a heap of rice heap of rice um, in same we have eight records in a university in case of in case of heap file organization Mm, the uh, uh, records will be stored in the data block with the with uh, without any respect of any data block it can be stored in any of the data block but the thing is it's a responsibility of dbms responsibility of dbms to access the particular record whenever it is called here we have data blocks with the two data buckets and it stores like it, it can store like this the data record uh, the records can be stored in any of the form but the thing is it's the responsibility of dbms to access the particular record when the particular record is called by the user in case of mobile showroom the newly entered mobiles or newly entered models can be stored in any in any place in the uh, showroom but the thing is it's a responsibility of the showroom persons uh, to bring the particular model when of the customer is asked in case of pile file method uh, the newly entered model will be stored at last uh, or in a order enter entry of the particular order of particular models in case of sorted order um, it can be stored in uh, customer based on customer recruitment it, it, it is not based on the customer recruitment the newly entered model is, is based on the newly entering uh, model in case of uh, a uh, heap file is method is uh, it can be stored in any anywhere in the data block but the it's the responsibility of dbms to access the particular record whenever the uh, sorry when sorry whenever a, a user is accessed